Hi guys, welcome to my unboxing. I got a package in the mail today. Um, so I'm going to cut it open and I'm going to share it with you guys. Let's see. If I can open it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We got Tame Wild. These are their new boxes. I love them. They're really cute with the greenery all around. Let's get some light going. Oops, so we guys can see what's going on. Okay. Okay. So, Tame Wild, and this is the back. And it feels very heavy this month, which is good. So, we've got the cute paper. The moons. I do like that. Ooh. Okay. So, the first thing on top... <clears throat> New Year's Intentions, really cute, and this one says Ritual Tools, I don't want to read it because it might be about the stuff in the box, I'll read this last, and I'm just going to grab the first thing, it says Team Wild Flower Blessing, and it's full with all kinds of beautiful herbs. See, lavender, calendula, maybe peppermint. Really pretty. Pretty decent sized package. Hmm. The next thing in the box. Ooh. Calm down. Artisan herbal tea. Who don't need that? Pretty decent sized bag. Um, it's got a little window in the back to see. Contents. Lemon balm, passion flower, rose petals, lavender, and skull cap. Ooh. Brew this blend to calm any anxious mind. Mm -hmm. Need that. Ooh, and then we got this here. Cute little ribbon on it. It's like a gray or cream color ribbon. I can't really tell. We got pieces of parchment. Quite a few, actually. Um, let's see. Looks about like ten. Ten pieces of cut up parchment. Ooh, there's a couple more items in here. Something's heavy. I see this here. Cute little bag. It says their name, Tame Wild. It's like a cloth bag. Let's see what's in it. Okay, let's. Okay. I feel things on the bottom. So we have. Little tiny pieces of quartz. One, two, three, and I think there was four. I think I heard one fall out. Aha. Uh -huh. Four. Little pieces of quartz. I see this cute little tiny spoon. And it has like a little... I guess you'd call it a little spout. Weird, like tilts. Cute. That looks like a wax spoon, like you would melt your wax and do wax stamps. And there is this. It looks like this might be wax, like a gold or a beige color. Cute little potion bottle full. We'll find out more about that when I read the card. So that came in that cute little bag. And 
Uh oh. My sage deck has broken apart and is falling. And it's, I don't think it's sage, it's cedar, actually, and it's really falling apart. It wasn't tied really good at all. Oh boy. I've not been having any luck with my boxes this month. I don't know how that can come undone like that during transit. Um, I don't know if I can save it, but I'm going to try to wrap it up a little bit. Just so you guys, it, I'm not going to be able to save this, but it looks like it was cedar smudge, which has fallen all over the place. But, yeah. Okay. And then, I see this bottle with a cork, big size cork. Um, it's empty, but I guess it's for something, we'll find out. I mean, you can use this for a lot of stuff, potions, um... It says friendly recycled glass, so I'm sure you can use it for anything. Okay, and that is it. So, that is our Tamed Wild box this month. So, let's read the card and see what's going on. Ritual Tools. 12 pieces of parchment paper. The 12 months of the year ahead of us for the ritual labeled one parchment each month. And it tells you that you can, when you can finish, you can um, rip off a small piece of each paper and tuck it inside a ritual jar. Cover it with flower blessings, sprinkle with quartz shards, and seal it with the wax. Alright, so they put this jar in there. So each month, you can tear off a couple pieces of the parchment, because there's 12 in here for the year. Write your intention, stick it in the jar, and cover it with the flower blessings. Now, and it says wax seal, so that's what that is, and wax seal is shut, but I'm assuming you wouldn't want to wax seal until the end of the 12th month. Otherwise, you'd have to rip it open each month to add it in. Fill it with your dreams and intentions for the next year. When finished, rip off a small piece of each paper and tuck it inside. Cover it with the flower blessings, sprinkle it with the quartz, and seal it with wax. So, I guess. Ritual jar, flower blessings, quartz crystal shards, wax seal, cedar stick, calm down tea. And it gives you stuff in the back about your New Year intentions. Um, it's a ritual as well. They give you a little ritual. It tells you after you fill it up for the year. You can bury it or burn it or scatter Whatever's remained of the parchment, let it go out into the wind if you want. So after the year is through, you can open it up and burn your intentions if you'd like. Or you can leave them in the bottle and bury them. So it's up to you what you want to do. Do not open or destroy this bottle until the end of the following year. It says, only then will you uncork the jar and reflect on your intentions before carefully burning the remnants. Save the ashes and recycle the energy until the following year's rituals. So, this is a cute little box. Um... The last one for December. I mean, this is December's last one for the year. So you get the bottle. Cedar stick. The wax burning kit. And the crystal shards are in here as well. 
New 12 months of ritual paper. Flower blessings. I go on that. And your calm down tea. And your ritual. And this is a very affordable box. Um, and this is great for any type of witch, I think. Um, beginner, crone, whatever. So that was really cute. And I can't wait to see what next year brings for all these boxes. Especially for the Tame Wild. Bye-bye, guys.